It's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's late, but I decided to go ahead and show you a project that I'm working on. Um, I am creating these um, bowl koozies. So, bowl cozies, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, so this is a 9 inch and this is a 10 inch. I'm liking the 10 inch better. Let me go ahead and finish get my YouTube pulled up because I want to make sure I can see everything good. So let me get that set up. Hold on, give me just a second. Okay, everything looks good on my side. Okay, so what we're doing, like I said, so these are the 10 inch. What I'm using is a layer cake to make these. So you have leftovers of like your little layer cakes or you could take scrap fabric or whatever you want to create these 10 inch squares or you could do the nine inch. Um, I got this from, I believe it's Gypsy's Crafter, Crafter, Crafting Gypsy. I can't remember exactly what her name is. Um, hold on, grab my layer cake. Okay, so this is the layer cake. Hi, Guadalupe. Awesome. Okay, I didn't even know there was a mystery box out. I'm gonna have to go look. What is in it, do you know? Um, so this is the layer cake. So what we are making is, um, those bowl koozies so you can reverse them inside out so I'm using this layer cake that is magic of seasons by Lisa audit and I ordered these a while back from Missouri star and I think I did these in a haul so what I'm gonna do is I'm creating a set of four so I've picked out the colors that I want to do reverse front and back and um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this so like I said so you can reverse these inside and out so I wanted to show you the different size bowls that would go in here um, for the 9 inch like a bowl size like this fit better into the 9 inch so I wanted to show you a difference so the 9 inch that's this or if you have like a smaller little Pyrex fits great in there and then for this one here like if you have these size bowls they fit really good in the 10 inch um, not really liking it so much for the 9 inch and then if you've got even bigger bowls like this, fit really well in the 10 inch. And also if you have like, what is this, the Pioneer Woman? They fit really good into the 10 inch. So I just wanted to show you the different bowl sizes there. Okay, so let me move these out of the way. So we can go ahead and get started. So if you're gonna be using the layer cake and you're gonna do the 10 inch, you don't even have to trim anything down if you already got your layer cake. All you're gonna have to do is cut your 10 inch squares. This is 100% cotton. I got these from Walmart. It's like a batting, I believe they're 498 or something like that. It has a picture of food on the front. And like I said, it's a big, huge piece. I think like 45 by 45, something like that. It would be like a baby's quilt size. And what you're gonna need is you need two, one for each side. So what I've already done here is I've taken a layer cake and I've already put one here. So nothing's holding this attached. I just have it laying on top. So I just cut these ready to go. So this is going to be, so you're reversible here with these two patterns that I chose here. And I've got my other one set aside. So the first thing what we're going to do is make an X. So I'm going to move this out of my way. And what did I do with it? Okay. So we're gonna take our ruler here, and what you're gonna do, let me move this one out of the way. We're gonna work one at a time. I've already got this where I want it. So I'm gonna go from corner to corner, or if you're like a pro, you can just eyeball this on your machine. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm just taking a fabric pin here and making my mark lines. But as you guys know, I've been making quilts, so I've had tons of leftover pieces and trying to find something to do with them so if you're looking for one extra if you need to whip it together a another gift for Christmas this is a super fast project so I was making these and just playing around and my husband's like why don't you make this I make my my husband's boss I make them a gift every year normally I make them a little basket of goodies like candy and stuff like that homemade bread I made them some homemade jelly but uh, this year I'm not going to make him the candy because I think his wife is on some sort of diet. I can't remember why. Um, so I'm not going to do the candies and cookies this year. I'm going. So he said, why don't you make these um, for their family? So that's what I'm going to do because they've got younger kids and stuff too. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just marking my X's here because we're going to sew straight across on each side. Just like so okay 
So let's go ahead. This is our first piece. I'm going to go ahead and scoop my um, sewing machine over here. So let me do that now. So I'm going to get this turned on. Okay, let's see. Vinyl, three different colors, plus transfer tape, two foil vinyls, scoring pins, and something to curl paper with. Oh, that's awesome. And it's for 26 Okay, I'll definitely have to check it out. Maybe hopefully it'll still be there. Okay. Thank you so much, Guadalupe. I knew that one was coming up, and I totally forgot about it. So I'm going to turn my machine on. Oh, i got to plug it in first. So, I'm somewhat prepared here. Okay. So, and I'm almost done with my last two quilts. I just gotta put the borders on them and then put them together. So I'm almost done, I'm super pumped. Seven quilts is a lot to accomplish. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, Hold on, let me make sure I have something to put this on. I wasn't prepared for this. Okay. Because my foot pedal, where I have this up on the counter, my foot pedal doesn't quite reach. So, I'm just getting a chair up here, okay. So, let me go ahead and zip through here. Do a reverse stitch. Okay. And then pull that up. Let me see what I did. There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the same thing to this other side. Oop, I don't think I'm hanging myself up here. Okay. So this one is done. We got the X on both sides of this. Now we're going to do the next one. I just love the pattern of these ones too. So let's see. But I think I'm going to use the leftover Spider-Man and Batman material that I have to make for all the kids, the boys in the family. And then I'll figure out one for the girls. Other side here. Now that we got both sides of this done, what we're going to do is now we're going to fold it in half like this. Let me scoop my machine back really quick so I can show you what we're going to do here. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to take your ruler 
and your fabric pan. Kind of make sure I can scoot this out of the way a little bit. Hopefully, you guys can see this. And what you need to do, hold on, let me fit with this this way. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come an inch on the sides here. So you need to be an inch and you need to be two inches at the bottom. So two inches this way, one inch here. And then what you'll do is you'll take your ruler. Let me scoot this. Take your ruler here and line those up and make a line. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, one inch, two inches, line them up, hopefully you can see this good enough because I know I've got my machine here kind of in my way. Okay, so as soon as you get this side done, what you're going to do is now turn it this way. So you're gonna turn it in the opposite direction and you're gonna do the exact same thing again. I think it's Crafty Gemini was her, is her YouTube name, I really like her. Okay, and I think Lori did this um, with the Cricut Maker, so you could always cut these squares out with your Cricut Maker. But I like the way, okay, hold on, let me go ahead and hopefully you guys can see this. I like the way that Crafty Gemini did hers because she rounded her corners, and that's what I'm gonna do. But if you wanted to bring that into the Cricut, into your design space, you could do that. Hold on, I'm trying to think here. You could do that by bringing in, and I think taking like a circle, and possibly, I'm trying to think of what I'm doing here because I need it to be the, oh, I know what I'm doing. This way is where I had it. These have a limited space here. Okay. Um, what you could do is take a circle in design space with your square and round your corner so that way it automatically cuts them for you like that beforehand, if that makes sense. You'll see what I'm talking about once I get there. Okay. Here we go. So now let me scoot my. Actually, let me do that one more time to this other one. Okay. Set that there. So we're gonna fold it in half. Are you working on any projects tonight, Guadalupe? Okay, so let me go ahead and get my markings here. We got the one inch and the two inch. And then we're just connecting the dots. And I'm using such a big ruler if I had brought out my little square. This would have been so much easier, but I'd already started. Okay. So, one inch, two inches. So we're going to turn it. Okay. Now we're going to flip it and do the other side. Making cards awesome. go I know we only have a week left till Christmas I feel like we're super pressed to, like rushed into time now let's see yes I do Wanda I have the Husqvarna Viking designer Topaz 25 do you have a Husqvarna I think they also like pronounce it Husqvarna I say Husk Oh, the weeding, yes. Definitely not a fan of weeding. But luckily, I've got some small kids. My daughters actually really enjoy doing it, so that works for me. Okay. There we go. Okay, so here we go. So now this is where it's going to start rolling along. And before I get started, let me figure out what I do with my big scissors. 
so that way we'll be ready to go with that. I literally just used them to cut this. Mm. And that's my think. If not, that's okay. I can use these smaller ones. Oh, there they are. Okay. So that way, as soon as we get these going. Okay. Oh, I know, Wanda. I want that epic so bad. Is it as good as they say it is? Oh my gosh. That's like dreams coming true. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your, let me just get this back just a little bit. Okay, what you're gonna do now where you've made these marks here, oh my gosh, I wish I could play with it so bad, Wanda. You're making my mouth water over a machine. Oh my gosh, I want the epic so bad. I cannot imagine the possibilities are endless. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these lines and now we're gonna sew these and make sure that you do a, a reverse stitch. Let me get my shirt back over here. Reverse. Oop, I didn't hit my reverse. Okay. And then pull this out. Oh, how exciting, Guadalupe. I bet you're ready to play with that. Okay. So, now we're gonna do this other one. We're doing the other side. I'm gonna do my reverse. Forward. Reverse. And then we're gonna flip it and let's see, like this. And then we're doing the other side. These are like so easy to make. And reverse. Oop. And cut. Okay, so now it's looking like this. Okay, so let me finish this other one and then we'll move that out of the way for a second. Let me go ahead and get this one done. Making sure everything's lined up. We're just gonna repeat the process. do the other two sides here almost got it okay Oop, let me turn my reverse off do our last one and cut all right so here we go so let me go ahead and show you what we got going on really quick let me scoot this back again okay so now you have your two pieces like this 
So what you're going to do is take your scissors and then trim this pretty close to your little stitch line here. So you can see about where I am there. So just like that. And do that to all four sides on both of them. And this just helps take away that bulk. Just try not to cut into your stitch lines there. Two more to go. Okay. There we go. So then you have them like this. Now you can leave them like this where you're going to have your points or you can round them off. And I really liked how she rounded them off. And let me show you how she did that. What you're going to do, I'm going to use one of my Bentley cups here. Okay. Still kind of wet from the dishwasher, but it's fine. So I'm going to take one of my Bentley cups here. So you want to take something that's round and then just layer two of them together like so. So like that. Take your cup. Let me maybe turn this so you guys can see this way. So you can see what I'm doing. So take your cup just like so. So that way you can round these corners. So then you can take your pin like this. And just mark. Like that. And then make sure you layer those back up. And just like that. So that way you can... Just round them corners. So I'm going to do that again. Just enough to where I can round my corners. There we go. I done forgot a corner. Just like that so I think it looks super cute and that's where it will look like this so the corners that way they'll look round I really like that so we're gonna do that to this other one so let me go ahead and do that to my other one okay Making sure I've got these lined up a little bit here, like, like this. Let me round this corner there. Okay, one more. All right. All right. There we go. So there we go. We have all those rounded. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take both your, sorry, I just bumped my camera. Take this one and flip it because you're going to put both pretties together like so. So let me move this so I can get in here. Okay. So this is where I took my, okay, I lost them. Nope, found them. Okay, so this is where I took my little crafter clips here. Okay. So you're going to take both pretties together just like this. Take one point and line your seams up together just like that. And then what I did was just clipped here and there so that way I could keep it together. All right. And then clip. Clip these two together. And let me, I think I need to move this one maybe down just a little bit more and clip it. I love these clips. I bought these one, I bought these at Hobby Lobby and I used a 40% off coupon. So they come in a bag. And I think they're they're either $15.99 or $19.99 and use a 40% off coupon. And 
like I said, I think it comes with like, I think it comes with like 50 clips in it or something like that. It was quite a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start because I'm going to leave, you don't want to leave like, um, that Crafty Gemini had said, you don't want to leave your round opening here because then it's harder to fold it in on a round spot, do a straight line. So I'm going to leave this piece right here unstitched. So I'm going to start like right here on this corner and start stitching all the way around. And then whenever I get, I'll stop here. When I get here, we'll flip it inside out. So that's where we are at. But I absolutely love these clips. Ever since I went to these clips, I no longer use pins. I absolutely love them. Especially like uh, when you're doing a binding of quilts, like one that you're going to hand bind sitting on the couch and watching TV. It's nice with these clips. Okay, so hopefully we can get it all in here. So I'm going to start, like I said, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this under here. And what I did was, I did a quarter of an inch. So I just came right here, right inside my foot. I don't know if you guys will be able to see like that. Um, I love them, Guadalupe, I'm telling you. Yes, you won't stick yourself no more. Um, yes, they're called Wonder Clips. But yes, definitely, I love these clips. But yes, they're called Wonder Clips. And my sister, they also have them in these colors, and then they also had them in solid pink, I think, for like breast cancer awareness or something like that. So, you're super welcome, Wanda. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure and drop my needle, that way whenever I curve that corner there, we'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reverse stitch. Everything together here. And we are almost back to where we started. and cut it pick my clips up see how awesome those clips were okay because my biggest thing with needles too is stuff like this I put them in backwards and then I'm poking it everywhere and... okay so the final thing that you're gonna do let me push this backwards again so I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing here so like get back there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little tiny opening here and I probably made this one a little bit too small. And we're just going to push it out. Trying to be ever so careful to not rip it. Awesome, Wanda. Yeah, definitely use your 40% off coupon. And they were right there hanging um, where the um, quilting stuff is. Like where they have their um, cutting mats and stuff, right in front of that. I can already see a spot too that I'm going to have to fix whenever I come, but that's okay. I made my spot way too 
small on this one. So, let me try to push from this way. Almost close, but yet so far away. Yeah, and I did so good yesterday not getting my own so close. The first time I did it, I forgot to backstitch on the um, very beginning part of it. So then I kind of tore that a little bit, which is no big deal. But this time... I made it way too small. I'm like, get in there. Okay. All I have left is this little bit. Just kind of trying to tuck it in there. Okay. Now, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your finger and just roll inside there around your corners. So let me get this one going. There we go. And we got two more to go. Just right over to this side. Okay. See, this is that spot where I missed a little piece, so I'm just gonna come, whenever I come do that, I'll just make sure I get that piece clipped. All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. So just like this. See how I like those corners? So what we're gonna do for this piece that, let me see. What we're gonna do is like this, just making sure those pieces are tucked in wherever you've got. So I had a couple pieces seep out on me when I was sewing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a top stitch all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a wonder clip there just so I can remember. I've got one right here. Thank you so much. But I really like this uh, fabric. Thank you so much. Okay. So, let me see. I thought there was one more piece. Yes, this is where my opening actually was. So I'm just making sure those pieces are rolled in. I like that. Okay, now I feel like I need to want to roll this piece just a little bit more. This is like so bad on my hands when I'm going to do that. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. Make sure I kind of get that tucked under there really good. It's that spot where it kind of snuck out on me when I was sewing there. Okay, so what we're gonna do, the same thing, I'm just gonna do a quarter of an inch all the way around. Let me reverse. I had my fixed button on, but I still like to reverse. Okay. And I've got my needle down. back up here so I can get to it and just go all the way around And when I get to like the lumps like this, I just use and kind of pull in the back just a little bit to help, help it come through.
Okay, we cut it. Now, I still didn't get this tiny little piece tucked in right here that I messed up and missed, but that's okay, I'll come back and hand stitch that. So just make sure whenever you're tucking your two pieces together that you, um, that you get those, make sure those are in there pretty good. Okay, so just like that, and there is our super cute bowl. So let me go ahead and move my machine. I scoot it out of the way. Okay. So there is our bowl holder. Just like that. I just love the colors of these two together. But um, I really like the rounded on this, but this is that spot that I've got to come in and adjust. But I'll just, like I said, tuck that under and hand stitch that. That's no big deal. Or use some of that tape. Kind of run some of that tape and get that under. Thank you so much, Guadalupe. But, um, and then you can reverse it the other way. Just like that. And like I said, I really like these better for... Now, like I said, you, you may want to go down to like the nine inch, so you would just take your layer cake and just trim um, an inch off of it on each side. So, just like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Enjoy this. I'm going to go ahead and make three more of these, and that way she has a whole set of them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are getting all your Christmas stuff done, and I hope you're enjoying doing it. Um, and like I said, as always, thank you for being here. And um, if, you, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, girls.